The subjects I did in high school were mathematics, English, Afrikaans, life orientation, physical science, life sciences, and IT. I think doing IT in high school will provide a good idea of what um, information technology is like at a university level. In school, you have your theory tests and you have your programming tests, and that's also the case at university. In metric, you have your PACT, where you create a program and you have to store um, your information in a database and you have to extract that information and create a, a user interface so that everyone can interact and view that information. And the major project for ISTN is quite similar to this. So if you've done IT in school and you're going to do IT in university you and you enjoy it in high school, you're definitely going to enjoy it at um, university. The modules I did in year one, semester one, were Comp 100, Math 130, Stat 130, and my elective was Chem 110. In Comp 100, the programming language that we use is Python. And it's quite an interesting language because later on when we do artificial intelligence, we also um, use Python as the programming language. Math 130 is an introduction to calculus and Stat 130 is similar to what we've done uh, or like the, st the statistics that we've done in high school. And uh, Chem 110 is basically the chemistry that you did in high school from grade 10 up to grade 12. Um, that's basically the Chem 110 module. The modules that I did in year one, semester two, were Comp 102, Comp 107, Math 140. And since I enjoyed chemistry quite a bit, I decided to continue doing chemistry and hence my elective was Chem 120. The modules I did in year two semester one are Comp 200, ISTN 211, Math 236, and my elective was Econ 101. In semester two, I did Comp 201, Comp 204, ISTN 212, and my elective, which is uh, compulsory for us to do at UKZN, was Zulu 101. If one of your majors were computer science, then the modules that you would have to do are COM 200 and COM 201. And if your major was also ISTN, then the modules that you are required to do are ISTN 211 and ISTN 212. In third year, you do not do any electives and neither are you given the opportunity to choose which modules you'd like to do. In the first semester, the modules that you will do are COM313, COM315, ISTN3AS, and ISTN3SA. In the second semester, your modules are COM304, COM314, ISTN3SI, and ISTN3ND. There are quite a few group projects. I will start talking about the ones for ISTN first. There were four group projects for ISTN, the first being in second year when we had to design a program. An example of this program could be a point of sale system, an appointment booking system, etc. The second project was in third year and this is referred to as the major project. This project is done throughout the course of the year. In this, we must find a business and in the first part, we design a software for them and in the second part, we design a website. The third project works hand in hand with the major project. We design models to show how the software that we've created in the major project works. The final ISTM project was to design either a presentation, video or game that can assist in learning the content of the module. There were two or three group projects for comp and the reason I say two or three is the project in which we had to create a quiz. We had the choice of whether we'd like to do the project alone with one other person or in a group. When it comes to electives, I would definitely recommend chemistry. 
I've personally enjoyed it quite a bit and I think if you've done physical science in school and you enjoyed it then you definitely will um But the thing with electives is that you get to choose what you really want. So if you didn't enjoy chemistry, you have many other options. You have, um, for example, physics, you can do even more math, you can do economics, you can do biology. There's just so many things that you have the chance to do. So electives are really about finding what you think you will enjoy or know that you're good at and just going for it. With computer science, you're more concerned about the development of the program. Uh, throughout the course, you learn different programming languages, you would learn different data structures and ways to make the program run smoothly and efficiently. Whereas in IT, you're concerned about maintaining and troubleshooting these um, programs and you have to uh, focus on their databases. Of course, there may be overlap between the two, but this is one way to distinguish or find some sort of distinction between computer science and information technology. Although the information on which modules you have to do is readily available in the college handbook, I didn't realize there was quite a bit of math. So at first I was a bit worried, Um, but I think it's gone well. So yeah, I just wish I'd known that before I should have checked. So if you're registering for this course or any other course, please um, look at the handbook so you know what to expect. And yeah, there was quite a bit of theory. I didn't expect that because when you think programming, you think, oh, I'm I'm just going to write a program for this or that. But there's quite a bit of theory, so that was a bit unexpected. The careers that you can pursue with this degree include software development, web development, database administrator, data analyst, systems analyst, and business intelligence, among others. Something people should know about the comp modules is that it's not only write a program that does this or write a program that does that. It focuses on how to write the best program, what's the best data structure to use, when to use this or when not to use this, how to make it more efficient. So things like that is something that most of the time is given more importance than the actual coding. You do get uh, coding questions, like your practicals, to kind of put this theory to the test. So with comp, it's basically applying the theoretical knowledge that you have and also kind of testing it uh, to see, not only in the program, but like on paper, do you know what would be best, why it would be best. And sometimes you have to give an explanation more than you actually have to give um, code. Whereas with IT, you definitely still have your theory and your programming test, where you definitely have to write a program that does this or does that. So I think that's what people need to um, realize is the difference between the two courses. And they would definitely have to see a Do I want to do something more theoretical or am I just happy with just writing a program that does this? And that's where I would like to stop. Modules like COM313 and COM314 may be related to math. So like in math, you have a question, but then there's many different ways to ask that question. And there's also many different methods that you may need to know. Um, in order to answer that question and that's the same with these modules so it's quite time consuming because you have to know the different methods and you obviously have to get um, enough practice so that you're able to answer the question because when you're in tests you are obviously stressed and um, you have a time limit so you need to do quite a bit of practice to be able to get that answer the right answer quickly in um, a test situation. 
Models like ISTN3, AS and SI are definitely your most time consuming models because this is the models in which you would do your major project. And it's such a massive project where you have to design an entire software and you have to design a website that um, it takes a lot of time getting the program to work, running through tests, um, making lots of alterations to the design, um, to design the perfect database because sometimes that could go wrong. Uh, you have to make presentations, you have to do speeches. So those are definitely your most time consuming module. I hope that this has given you a little insight into the computer science and information technology course and all the best to everyone if you choose to do this course or any other course and please remember to enjoy what you're doing and have fun learning.